Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks. In this replay we have Kuba Messi with the tier 10 Swedish medium tank. It is the UDES 1516. Um, so yes, Messi is going to go with vents, with vent stamps and with a gun ram, all standard actually. Um, yeah, and lately we've been seeing a lot of um, bond, bounty, experimental pieces of equipment. But this round, in this round, actually some standard equipment with, you know, regular rounds with a little bit of gold, no premium consumable, so kind of like your free-to-play player, I guess, over here. Um, so yeah, the Udas 1516 on Paris against some tier 9 and 10 vehicles. What is Cuba missing going to do over here? Um, yeah, do exactly what you need to do with your Udas 1516, right? Find a hull down position, use your pneumatic suspension to kind of angle your vehicle so that they can't shoot you in the cupola because you do have a cupola on the left side of the turret over here that you need to watch out with. Also, you have a pretty weak hull, so you should hide that as well. But there we go. Checking if the angle is good. Shooting the T-30 in the side of the turret, unfortunately, doesn't go through. Maybe heat would have gone through, but the APCR is definitely going to go through. But into the side of the Conqueror. Easy peasy. And this vehicle hits hard. 440 damage um, for a tier 10 medium is absolutely lovely. So, yes, this vehicle does... Uh, pack quite a punch waiting hoping that someone's gonna go forwards and take another another chunky shell into the vehicle there we go the 60 tp is actually side scripting out switching to a heat round here um if we can actually connect with the low plate even regular rounds are gonna go through but you know there is kind of a weaker spot i guess on the 60 tp underneath the turret when you when they side scrape out you can actually shoot there we go. Like, just, just over there with the turret and the hull connect. If he's angling a bit too much, this area might get pent, as you can see, with some gold rounds. Trying to find that angle, but yeah, it's going to be tricky to go through that area. Unfortunately, missing the 60 TP over here. And now, trying to wiggle, trying to wiggle, trying to make the 60 TP miss. And then we spot on the top of the turret, which is, like I said, um, the cupola on the left side. You do need to watch out there, you can get overmatched in the upper hull by okay uh, i guess the e3 just shot somewhere maybe they overmatched the upper part of the hull like i said 150 millimeter 151 millimeter caliber guns or higher can just overmatch the uh, the hull on your vehicle and that is where they hit as we sit over there getting through the low plate of the e3 there we go this way you do need the gold by the way e3 very very heavily armored um tank destroyer so definitely want to finish off that American TD. You know, it can overmatch as well. And there we go. Easy shot into the side. Into the low plate, sorry, of the E3. And now it's the 60 TP going over here. Um, trying to catch the Capona. Is it easy height? No. no. Okay, guess not an easy hit. Um, APCL will go through as well. So maybe save those gold rounds for later. But yeah, like I said earlier, um, the upper hull, right, is 50 millimeters. So as you can see, the T123 just hit over here and overmatched um, the hull of Cooper Messi over here. So what is overmatch mechanic? It means that if the armor plate is, if the gun caliber is three times plus one, the um, the number of the armor plate, right? So we have 50 millimeters on that upper plate. The E3 has 100 and I don't know 55 millimeter, if I'm not mistaken, which is three times plus five, right? The amount of the armor that is going to go through every time it's just going to do oh my goodness if it's ap or apcr it will just do damage every single time and lucky the 60 tp doesn't connect with the capola hitting only the uh, the viewport right which sticks a little a little above the capola pushing force against the 60 tp over here now do need to watch out though like i said 60 tp does have 152.8 or something if i'm not mistaken a little bit of caliber gun that can overmatch this area of the udes but the 60 tp fired and i just one to the side finishing them off uh, easy peasy up to 3343 damage couple of kills but this game is not looking nice 10-5 in favor of the enemy team and uh, kuba messi's team is down by 1900 hit points what are they going to try and push forwards? Try to get some shots into the Conqueror. Into the T30 that is over there as well. That was that spotted over there, right? Maybe they're not over there, but there they are. T30 fired. You know, you have a pretty long reload. Once that vehicle fires, try to find them. Okay. 
side of the T30, and that's just the side of the Conqueror as well. Getting a couple of kills here. It's going to be very simple. Just a, just wait, aim. There we go. There we go. APC into the side of the Conqueror, as you should do, by the way. If you fire heat into the side, um, the tracks might absorb that, so you do want to fire AP or APCR into the track area, if it is the side armor, of course. But it's now 11 7 in favor of the enemy team, but there are two one shots over here. Can Cooper Missy get a kill on the Leopard? Trying to catch the turret of the Leopard. There we go. There we go, finishing off the very dangerous tier 10 German medium tank, making this game an 11 to 8. And it is crashed at 11 9 in favor of the enemy team, up to 6 kills, up to 4276 damage. Just, you know, always get the kills, right? You should always secure kills when you can. If you leave someone on 1 HP, they can still do damage, so it's better to have... If someone has 2000 HP, someone has 1 HP, and you do, let's say, 1000 damage per shot, right? Finish off the person on 1 HP, and then it's just a 1 gun versus 1 gun. You don't want to have two people shooting you at the same time, right? Just because you wanted to do more damage, so securing kills, very, very important um, in World of Tanks. Do that, and just... <laughs> Oh, the timing. The timing was perfect. Waiting for the Leopard, the Skoda, the Shah. And then just, just when Kubermissi decided to move, the Shah decided to move as well. And I love what they're doing over here. Making it look as if they're going towards the center of the map, right? Going south and then maybe cutting towards the middle. But no. No. Waiting until they're no longer spotted and then returning to their previous position. And then maybe, hopefully, we can catch someone out. Someone who thought that we're going towards the center of the map. There we go, the Shah goes towards the center of the map as well. Putting one to the Shah, unfortunately taking 189 damage shell in return. But finishing off that very dangerous tier 9 French auto-loading medium. Definitely an important thing. Shkoda T50 is a one shot now. And, you know, it's it's cleanup crew time. I guess you can just snap the backside of the Shkoda T50. Just catching the, the pixel uh, the, around the corner over there. Crazy, crazy stuff. And now the Leopard. Is, is he a one shot? I mean, with a slight high roll. Just need a slight high roll. War gaming, please, and thank you. There we go. Nine kills. And like I said, this is this is like cleanup crew. You know, 4,800 damage, nine kills, and yeah, just going shooting exactly who you need. Let me kill all Sans Cuba Messi in the chat. Just enjoying their role as the cleanup crew over here, I guess. Concepans is a one shot as well. Can we get another kill? Yes. I guess. 22 damage. This is just crazy. Just crazy stuff. Up to 10 kills. Getting the pulse medal. And it's only two artillery remaining. But it is a close one. Like the STF is a one shot. The Conqueror is a one shot to the artillery. So it is it is pretty dangerous. There's the batch at 15558. You don't get you don't get the the pneumatic expansion on the side into good forms. There we go. Getting an nature round into the batch at 15558, finishing them off. 530 damage, 60 pen on those HE rounds. So lovely shot over here. Remaining, leaving only the T92 on the enemy team. Do need to watch out though. Like I said, STF is a one shot. Conqueror is a one shot. If they pen Kuba Messi, then they are a one shot as well. But where is that? Titan artillery. There it is towards the northwest. Versus the SF, finishing golf, the SF 103B. Can we get the shot in? There we go. HE into the side of the T92 HMC, the tier 10 American artillery. And, you know, just enjoying your life, I guess, as you can see in chat. Laughing out loud, getting 12 kills, 5,766 damage, and, yeah, just being the cleanup crew for their team. So, I think, like, the teammates did not play this correctly because they didn't focus down the low HP vehicles, right? When every, every single vehicle that we've encountered pretty much, except for the E3, except for the 60 TP, those vehicles is a one shot. That means that there's no focus fire. Focus fire is extremely important. Like I say that every single time um, on stream, focus fire is better than just doing 10,000 damage, right? If you do 10,000 damage, but you get no kills, and you lose the battle, then is it is it really better than getting, I don't know, 15 kills and 1,000 damage? And in my opinion, it is not. Um, I guess if you go for marks, if you go for marks of excellence, then the 10k is going to be better. But I'm perfectly, perfectly, personally, um, 
prefer to go for the win, go for the kills, secure the kills, secure the win. And that is exactly what Cooper Messi did over here. 12 kills, 5,700 damage. A G G's. So, yeah, let's go and check the post-game stats to see exactly how lovely this game was. There we go. Ace Tanker, of course, for the 1,514 base experience. A Bascucci's medal for finishing off both the T92 at the end and the Batch at 15558. Pool's medal for the 12 kills. High caliber for the 5,958 damage. Which is always fun. Um, Top Gun, 46 skills, right? But yes, 24 shots fired, 22 of those hit, 19 penetrated. So, very efficient use of the gun by Kuba Messi over here, dealing, like I said, almost 6,000 damage. And yeah, also really good armor usage. 8 hits received, and only 2 of those penetrated. So, as long as you can hide the hull, right, just expose a little bit of the turret as little as you possibly can. I use the pneumatic suspension to go and hold down. This vehicle can bounce quite a few, quite a few shells. Um, as seen over here, 2240 damage blocked by the armor. Five vehicles spotted, 12 damage, 12 kills. It's like, like I said, let's, let's just take a look. Okay, so one hit into the T30, kill. One hit into the Shaf 84, kill. One to the T95, kill. Two went to the E3, kill. One to the Leopard, another one to another Leopard, one to the Skoda, one to the T92, one to the Kunzerpanzer, one to the Bachelor 15558, two into the Conqueror, and it's like, and then 60 TP, right? So six, six is into the 60 TP, but just focus fire, you see? Focus fire, win the game, that is what you need to do. So awesome, awesome uh, prioritizing by Kuo Messi in this battle. Just securing kills and getting the win. Unfortunately, losing some credits over here. You know, they'd find a little bit of gold rounds. It is tier 10 after all. And you don't have a premium account. You will lose quite a few credits, actually, at tier 10. Um, so if you've, like I said, you do fire some premium rounds. But overall, awesome game. 12 kills is always nice. 6,000 damage is always nice. And I just wanted to show you this replay. So that people will try to focus fire more. Right? You need to focus fire to win a game. A lot of people that I see while playing just go for the more damage. They don't really play for the win, right? They play for, I don't know, for personal records or something, which is fine if you go for marks or something. But if you're just playing a random game with other players, try to help them win the game, right? Focus fire, go with them, do stuff that supports the teammates. Um more than you would normally do. Unless, of course, like I say, if you go for marks, you do you, go for the damage, um, to leave the kills for Kuba Messi, right? He's gonna be there to clean up the stuff that you leave. But yeah, focus fire. Focus fire is extremely important and I don't see it used efficiently enough, right? So yes, Kuba Messi, lovely game. 12 kills is always, always awesome. 6,000 damage, like I said. A bunch of medals and most importantly, a victory. GG well played. Um, but this is it for this video. Let me know what you think of the UDS 1516 actually in the comments. What do you think of this tier 10 uh, Swedish medium tank? Do you like it? You don't like it? You think it's too good, not good enough? Um, balanced as it is. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comments down below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Stay awesome, stay safe, and hopefully, I'll see you all in the next video. Tatans, have a good one, people!